happened last night. My New York Knicks told the world, guess what? We're going for the two seed. We're taking the two seed. We're going to win 50 games. They're at 48. Jalen Brunson, again, is the best player in all of basketball, all of the world right now. And uh, look, when the, the Boston Celtics are the best team, no one's going to dispute that. I and, can dispute uh, that. Uh, as far as the East? Uh, they, won, I mean, did they, they played everybody last night, and they lost by 25 Yes, they points, did. So we were up by 30 I, at one point, too. I feel too. like yeah. the best team won the game. I like you on that. But I want to show you something because I woke up. Uh, I slept at the Hollywood Express last night. I got tons of sleep. There you and go. I feel like I'm much smarter for it uh, this morning. There's one particular play in last night's game. for, And I'm not saying you guys. And when I say you, I mean you know, collectively the world. Uh, when you people. <laughs> talk about how Jalen Brunson can't do anything. This is full court against Jalen Brown, all right? This is one-on-one -on -one basketball, all right? He abuses him with the left, all right? Then now uh, they switch up defensively on him, goes right into the lane, pop, stop, drop Ooh. for the deuce, okay? Now, for most people, it's just another two points. But this is against one of the best defenders in basketball. This is against the best team in basketball. And Jalen Brunson toys with them. And that's why the New York Knicks can win an NBA championship because that's Jalen Brunson. That's one-on-one -on -one basketball, right? Clear out, I got this. Then you have Brown, who's a very good defender, switches off of him because he don't want that smoke, <laughs> all right? And he still takes the next guy to the goal for about a seven-foot jumper there. So if you take stock of the last 10 games that Jalen Brunson has played full screen, Ooh. thank you. You are talking about Ooh. greatness. You are talking about one of the best players in the league. Now, what? thank you very much. This is my guy right here next to me. That's absurd yeah. what Jalen Brunson has done over the last 10 games, and he's going to go into the playoffs on that type of streak. 36 points a game, essentially eight assists per game, and the only guy right now that you can make a claim is playing better basketball or even basketball is good would be Jokic. Uh, and there's one of those like NBA stat sites that I follow. I forget the name of it. It yeah. comes up in my feed all the time. Where right now, over the last 30 days, I took 10 games, but over 30 days, Jokic is rated as the best player in the world statistically, and Brunson's number two. Mm -hmm. Like, it's no joke how good this dude is playing. What they are doing with him, and they did, the Celtics did it last night, and I've seen other teams do this too, they double him at the touch 35 feet from the basket. Yeah. He's barely six feet tall. And they double him 35 feet right. from the basket. They're playing a defensive strategy where they call timeouts. They get together and they say, whatever happens when Jalen Brunson gets the ball, double him and make sure he gives it up. That's how effective he is offensively. And even when he gets doubled, he always makes the right play. And the Knicks always deliver. It's yeah, it's wild. awesome. And I just want to show you the level he's playing at because there's a video that uh, no one else has seen. I'm going to show you for the first time. He is so hot right now as a basketball player. Look at the girl down to the left. Looking at them Look cheeks. at that. Oh. Look at that. Oh. She's like, take a bite oh. out of that ass. What's a bite? Ah. Ah. She's like, ah. Ah. I just want to take a bite out of that ass. That's, That's what she's saying right there. Look at her again. Very attractive young woman there, yeah. sitting courtside, so daddy's got money. And look, she's like, Arr, I want to take a bite of that apple. Give me that ass. Right? Yeah, <laughs> give me that ass. <laughs> like, if you're not averaging 36 and 8, you don't get that. No. That, and that's, by the way, that's a Celtic fan. Ooh. That's a Celtic fan sitting front row looking to take a bite out of my guy's touch. Yeah, but I, we also got to credit the Knicks, man. They had 22 second, opportun 22 second chances opportunity. And you're talking about them hitting the boards, defending. Arr. They travel well. Arr. I like this game, by the way, Arr. because they beat Milwaukee Sunday. Are you they still breaking good. the game down? Yeah, yeah, man. Doing? yeah I like I, I like when you break it down. Yeah. Arr. Arr. <laughs> so if you're trying to eat Jalen Brunson. So here's the deal now. The Knicks are still a game back in the loss column of Milwaukee. And Milwaukee plays Oklahoma City tonight, okay? Yep. If you wanted the two seed, if you were all about it, obviously other than Giannis, who we understand because of the calf injury, the other dude's got to play. And what's interesting now is that the New York Knicks are hotter than a pistol. Cavs are a game behind them, so the Knicks control their own destiny, right? And you got the Bucks sitting there, and you think, hey, I want to be the two seed. I want home court advantage in the second round of the playoffs. Uh-uh, not Milwaukee. Here's what Milwaukee doesn't want because Glenn Rivers, their head coach, is terrible, is afraid of Philadelphia. He don't want to go back to Philly. He don't want that Sixers smoke. And the Sixers are one of the hottest teams in basketball right now. And the Beads playing great, right? So Milwaukee, for tonight's game, which I thought was going to be like must-see basketball, I was excited to watch tonight's game. I have no interest in watching it now because Giannis is out, which we understand, and we accept and respect that. We saw him go down with the calf injury, right? 
No Portis tonight. Mm -hmm. No Middleton tonight. Uh, no Lopez tonight. And no Dame tonight. Which is Milwaukee telling you, we, we do not want they're, they're, the two seed. It's a white flag. Right? Like, we don't want it. So the idea that they're going to keep Bobby Portis from playing basketball, they're going to have to chain him to his locker or something. Like, I've never seen Bobby Portis miss a game. No, yep. He's not a low now, kind of guy. Now, I'll just give the only caveat I'll give you is I thought the same thing was happening with the Celtics yesterday. Of course, they legitimately have nothing to play for. They're locked in as the one seed. And then late in the day, they decide, you know what? Screw it. Everybody's going to play. Right. So in theory, Milwaukee could also make a late day change. But it's the mentality of it. It's the concept of we're fighting for the two seed. We own it. And all we got to do essentially is win one more game, and we're locked into the two seed. The Knicks then by proxy fall back to three, and Milwaukee's like, we do not want Joe Ellabede coming to Milwaukee. They're actually afraid Craig. of Philadelphia. I liked what you said there. They're waving a the white flag. They're waving a yeah. the white flag. They don't want it. And here's the thing is, the basketball gods are undefeated. And if you, if you lose games intentionally yep. and you drop down a seed to try to pick your opponent, you're going to lose games in that series. I like, it's there. never worked yeah, out. I've never seen it work out. It's a weak mindset. Listen, you need momentum going into the playoffs. You want your best playing the best at the right time. And that's why the Knicks are so hot right now. Their best are playing the best and they're traveling well. Hey there. Thank you so much for watching the Carton Show. You can subscribe right here to get all the latest bits and segments from the show. And by the way, while you're at it, we have a lot of great shows on FS1. So check them out too.